Kosovo goes up against Pupreka of Hungary. It will be Krasnitsky in the white judoki put in blue. Two versus three. We wanted to see some high quality uh, competition. You've got it here. Castello, Lacrosurin and Bouchard were down by Krasnitsky. It was Valdemit Morey, Van Snick and Pementa who lost out to Puck Brecker. The referee in the middle for this one is Matthew Bataille of France. Well, this is the seventh time they've met these two. And, uh, well, well, what is the head -head? on the world rankings, it's 5 1 Krasniki. Okay. And, uh, but I've got to tell you that Pup is on great form. And as always, Krasniki is as well. So it's two <laughs> on four people. But uh, so I heard some fantastic reports. I only saw one of her fights, but Pup was absolutely smashing them over all day. But that lady there, District Krasniki, is absolutely on fire. Loretta, Loretta Kusak Doyle, one of our co commentators. Was I was sitting alongside her earlier and, and we watched Krasnitsky and she said, and she knows a, a little bit about the weight category, she said, she is class. Was Ari straight away. Krasnicki just straight in, first attack, and takes her down there with that Osoda Gary. Both hands on the same lapel and she just takes her over. Ten seconds in and she's up. We've seen her, haven't we, score big with that. Straight off the bat, she comes out and uh, she absolutely annihilates them with it. <laughs> that wasn't far off, was it? She, uh, I said she was physically the strongest in the weight category, without a shadow of a doubt. And that's having moved up from, yeah, from 48, 48 kilos. Yeah. Mind you, she was the strongest when she went down. Oh, yeah. so, and that's why she's wearing the gold back patch as the current Olympic champion at the weight below under 48 kilos yeah just starting her way up uh, I mean starting I mean she's uh, there's only I think one time she's lost I've seen her and that was uh, mm. against Abe but uh, look at the defensive yeah, it's, it's, uh, action there Pup. Shido gonna go up to Pup yeah. doesn't give it so he doesn't want to give it just for pu pulling down. The reason he's done that is he doesn't want to encourage just going for three Shidos just by pulling down. So she knows now she's got to do a bit more. Yes, I mean, it was it was clear that Krasnichi was encouraging, but <laughs> if that's the way to put it. It's a good way of putting it, isn't it? Down, you know. Cr crushing would have, bit, would, would have been a little bit different, and then it would have been Krasnichi who had picked up. The, the penalty, but she was perfectly happy to see Pup Wrecker down and down onto her knees. And I think Neely's right, you know, for that, they're not going to give her a penalty. Dominated the sleeve here. Pup doesn't know what to do with that. It must be psychologically as well. A bit uh, disconcerting there when you've, uh, you've gone 5 1 down. She really uh, can feel the power there of Krasniki. Having moved up from 48 kilos and climbed the world ranking list so quickly in, in the new weight category, of course, the talk has been about the possibility of Krasniki winning a second Olympic title, but at a different weight. No female has ever done that. We've had double Olympic champions, but no female has ever won at two different weights. At two different weights, they've always come back and won in in the weight that they'd won before. Xiang Dong Mei, um, Kayla Harrison, um, a few Japanese Masai well, yeah, Ueno, yeah. Ayumi Tani, uh, Tani Moto. So and and Tani as well. Ryuko Tani were all was at 48 kilos. So and I think those are the the ones. <laughs> Krasniki could, you could know, join. It. You know, she would be like Kapalik, I suppose. Lucas Kapalik, who won at under 100 and then plus 100, and is now back down 
at under 100. Yeah, he fa mean, fancied a new challenge, he said. <laughs> a little over a minute. And it's the Kosovan who leads by Rosari. She scored that within the first few seconds and has looked pretty comfortable since then. Yeah, I mean, just doing everything right. She's dominating the grip. She's just attacking at the right time. Uh, she's not backing off. She's uh, coming forwards, not taking any big risks either. Oh, she wasn't far off there, nearly connected there. Just managed to climb off that pup. We spoke about athletes working it out. It's all almost written across Pulp Brecker's face. I'm working this out. It's <laughs> taken a while, I know, but I am working yeah. this out. It's taken me a couple of years, but <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not yeah. quite there yet. Like I say, she's had such good form as well today. Looked uh, absolutely incredible, Pup Wrecker. And, uh, well, with this match here, just being outplayed and outpowered. Se seconds ticking away. Doesn't know how to get past yeah. those arms, does she? Ten seconds left here. Krasniki just uh, pins the sleeve. Closed up shop yeah, she's 20 <laughs> seconds ago, <laughs> didn't she? Yeah. It, it, it's, the, it's the ease with which she manages that part of the contest where she says, OK, I've done enough now. I, I'm, I'm going to coast. No big chances. Yeah. I, and that's what I just said. You know, she, she's not taking any big chances. She, she had her lead. She didn't uh, go into reverse, but she def definitely wasn't coming forward in the same way. Yeah. Didn't need to. Anyway, good win there for Desiree Krasniki. Kosovo, and uh, wow, well, how amazing, really. Winning already big, massive tournaments, the biggest tournaments in the weight category up.